John Hall from Royal Magic and I'm super excited today to be showing you the brand new quad from Ambrosio. Now this robot's been in development for the last few years, it's cost millions of euros to develop and uh, it's special because it's a slope mower. It's got some unique features we've not seen before on other robots and I'm going to give you a little preview of what to expect. The reason the quad is so special is it can cope with lawns of up to 70% incline um, and in some cases it can even be pushed a little bit further depending on the terrain. Now there's not many robots on the market which can cope with slopes as steep as that. Uh, there's maybe just one I can think of which is the Husqvarna 435X. So if you're in the market for a slope mower you're going to want to see why this one is so special. So let's start with the look of it. As you can see it's square. Most robots have a, a defined front and rear with different size wheels. Um, this one has the same four wheels on each corner and this is special because each of those wheels has a drive motor in it but it also has a steering motor. So this is four wheel drive and four wheel steer. We've not seen any other robots with this technology on before and Ambrosia have had to build this from scratch so there's no common components on this machine shared with other robots. The whole thing has been designed purely with slopes in mind which makes it totally unique. So let's look at some of the other exciting features of it. Uh, one of the new additions that we've not seen on other robots before is the collision sensors on this robot are actually high frequency radar that if you can see just here on either side this is a, equipped with four uh, 70 gigahertz radar devices. Now this shouldn't be confused with uh, ultrasonic sensors that you see for measuring distances on some other robots. Uh, they can be affected by uh, wind and rain and, and various other environmental factors. This is actually using radar technology at double the frequency that you'll see on, on military type uh, radar. So that's been designed and patented by Zucchetti uh, for use on future robots, but also uh, to allow this one to detect obstacles in the field. And that's a really interesting uh, new development. In terms of power, this robot's fitted with a 10 amp hour lithium ion battery, which provides two and a half hours mowing time on the steepest of slopes. The robot itself recharges in a base station in under two hours. Let's have a look underneath the robot. Underneath the robot you can see the four wheels here. They're all built into their rotators at the top so they can twist and turn simultaneously. The tyres themselves have got mooses inside. They're really squishy so um, on any terrain they should really bite into the ground and ensure that uh, there's optimal grip. Uh, that they're really quite tactile and made of uh, a nice flexible rubber. I'll show you the, uh, the wheels rotating. It gives you an idea of how they actually move and operate. Uh, so the robot can actually spin on the spot to change direction or it can crab to the side or it can actually go up extreme slopes in a rhombus formation. So one wheel in front and two out the side like a diamond shape. Underneath here you'll see that there's a 29 centimetre four knife blade. This is sharpened on both sides and um, it's surrounded by a blade guard here which has got some rubber flaps on top to prevent buildup of mulch sticking to the uh, underside of the robot. The, this flap can flex and move and uh, it allows it to shake off uh, any buildup. Whilst this uh, comb arrangement allows grass to pa pass through. The blade itself is motorised so this whole unit can move up and down uh, to change the height of cut. Build quality. Like all Ambrosio robots, this robot feels extremely well built. It's made from premium materials held together with all stainless steel fixings and using high quality components that you just don't see on other domestic robots. 
The robot's also equipped with uh, GPS and GSM. Now that gives it functionality so it can communicate with the mobile app, but it also uses that GPS data coupled with a piece of software called SAT Dynamic Memory to ensure that this robot covers all of the garden. It puts a grid over the garden, divides it into two meter squares, and anywhere that it hasn't visited in the last few days that it crosses, it will put a spiral cut in that you probably would have seen on other robots in the range. Uh, they have this uh, patented spiral cut system which uh, allows the robot to give perfect coverage. The robot's also compatible with the uh, pet tag called Amico. So if you've got pets and um, small animals, you can put a tag on their collar and that will prevent the robot's blade operating near the animal. The quad also breaks the record for the most number of motors used on a robot mower. There's actually 10, two in each wheel, one for driving, one for steering, a motor to drive the blade and a motor to lift the blade height up and down, which is electronically operated via the touchscreen display or the app. Now, all of these motors are induction three phase motors, extremely high quality and powering them is a very powerful 10 amp hour lithium ion battery which provides two and a half hours mowing time on the steepest of slopes. And that battery can recharge in under two hours in its base station fully automatically. The robot's also fitted with a rain sensor. As you can see here, these two stainless steel pins detect the water and this robot can be set to either return to base station uh, if it starts raining or it can be ignored and mow in the wet. It doesn't matter, it's your preference. Here you can see the same colour touchscreen that's found on other robots in the next line range from Ambrosio. This is a full colour touchscreen display where you can uh, change all your settings and do your scheduling and things like that. One of the uh, really clever new features on this machine is it's equipped with a, a brand new sensor uh, and it's high frequency radar. This has actually got four high frequency radars built in under the chassis just here and that allows it to detect obstacles as it uh, bumps in before it bumps into them. So when the robot needs to recharge or it's finished its working cycle, it will drive itself up onto this platform and plug itself into the base station head here. The whole thing is very compact and neat and it's also weatherproof. So it can be left outside without a cover on it. It's completely weatherproof and fine to be exposed to the elements. One of the other things I really like about this space station design is the materials they've used for the actual connections. So you'll see on the robot side, it's two stainless steel plates here. And on the base station side, it's 12 individually sprung stainless steel contacts. There's six on each, positive and negative. The robot drives up against this and the spring pressure uh, felt against the robot here. And that ensures a really positive connection for charging that 10 amp hour lithium battery. I hope you found this video summary of the Ambrosio Quad useful. Over the next few weeks we'll be installing this on a very steep slope close to where I live so I can keep an eye on it and we'll film an additional video to see it in action. Thank you for watching.